Okay, we have set up everything. We have set up our hypervisor. We configured our Citrix site and desktop site. Now it's time to create machine catalog. In previous video, we have created one master VDI image for desktop, Windows 7 desktop. And it's time to utilize that image. Uh, now I switch to Zen Center. So what I did, I turned off this virtual machine, and I would like to take a snapshot of it. Remember, I just normally shut down this VM. I did not use SysPrep, and I repeat, you will not use. You should not use SysPrep. Okay. So now we'll go to Citrix Studio. We'll select Machine Catalog. I'd like to create one Machine Catalog. And Machine Catalog is basically nothing but a collection of physical. Or in our case, it's a collection of virtual machines that you want to assign to users. As simple as that you specify a master image and based on that master image machine catalog will create or provision VMs and this is the choice what type of operating system is for machine catalog it's for Windows Server OS for Windows desktop OS or for remote PC access in our case it's for desktop machine management what type of machines uh, we will want because in our case you want virtualization so we will go for power managed and we would like to use machine creation services though we have option to use provisioning services but it's a separate set of software that we need to install um, in this demo we are using machine creation services and we would like to use this for power manage machine which is of course virtual virtual VMs or virtualized uh, machines now what type of desktop I would like to give my users if I select option one which is a random desktop it's like they will connect and on the login they will log in they will work they will log off changes will be discarded next time they might get the different desktop second option user guaranteed to always get the same machine and in option one if you see they will their changes like changes whatever they will make will in their profile will be saved in a personal v disk second option they will have a dedicated virtual machine means they have a full control and whatever changes they will make it will made on the local disk on C drive so it's like creating a complete full clone for them third option they will always get the same desktop but as long as they log off their changes will disappear or dis will be discarded I will choose option one personal VDisk in this case our main disk will be untouched will remain untouched and whatever the changes user will make those personalization changes will be saved on personal VDisk here I need to select master image and I will I selected our master image a snapshot I want to provision virtual desktop based on this snapshot how many virtual machines I would like to provision or I would like uh, Citrix Zen desktop to create the mach virtual machine that will be part of this machine catalog I'll say two and each one will have one CPU and one gig of RAM what will be the size of personal VDisk? Mm, I would like to oh wait, wait. I think I'll change it. Uh, let's go back. I would like to change it five gigs. Five gigs for drive P, where user profiles will be stored, and that's it. 
I will provision two desktops. Where I would like machine creation services or machine catalog to create computer accounts inside Active Directory. Remember, I created one OU called Computers Inside VDI OU. So I would like my computer accounts to be created over here. And how the name, how machine name will be generated. So here we can specify a scheme. I will say V first, so just to show it's a virtualized, virtualized systems. So V win seven hash hash and hash hash. It's like the two number, like as you can see down there. It's a zero one. Next one will be zero two, zero three, zero four, and so on. In our case, it will be zero one and zero two. You can even choose um, alphabets if you like. Name of machine catalog. whatever you prefer let's say let's say win 732 bit and with service pack 1 description Windows 7 SP 32 bit with uh, basic, let's say basic applications. Yep. Actually, I would like to change the name a little bit. Uh, it's just a name, by the way. You can say X Y Z, but it's better to select name. You know, some meaningful name, so it's easy. So, okay. Uh, I think this is good. Win seven SP one thirty two and description is Win seven SP one thirty two bit with basic applications. And I'll click finish and what it will do it will copy the master image and create the catalog or based on two virtual machines means it will create it will copy the master image and it will provision two virtual machine v win 701 and v win 702 uh, once those machines will be created uh, a computer account for those machines will be added into active directory right now nothing happens uh, so let's take a short break and i will be back when it's done all right so we have created machine catalog two machines and right now both machines are unassigned uh, these are the machines which are created um, uh, let's 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 uh, switch to Zen Center and here are they if you see upstairs uh, over there we win 701 and we win 702 both machines are created and this is what we were looking for machine catalog creates machines based on master image right so now we go back to Citrix studio and I'd say here I would like to show you some of the settings um, of machine catalog 
uh, for example, what if what if you want to edit this machine catalog? Actually, <laughs> when you edit, there is nothing much. Just you can change uh, description. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know it's silly, but <laughs> that's how it is. Um, I can add machines. Like, remember we created two VMs. Later on, you want to have another two. Let's say Win Seven V, Win Seven Zero Three, and Zero Four. You can add more VMs to this catalog, and also you can see machines which are part of this catalog. It will show you these two VMs, their power state, either they are registered or not yet. Nobody is logged in yet. Of course, nobody, because right now there, is, there are no delivery groups. Uh, one more thing. Uh, oh, there is an option for update machines. Let's say uh, you want to update your master image. All you have to do, update your master image, take another snapshot then come over here select another snapshot and just update your VM based on new snapshot so this is it machine catalog has been created successfully thank you so much and I'll see you in another video